Like many others touring on a Brompton, I use a simple two-bag system, consisting of a front bag and a rucksack mounted at the rear of the bike. In this video I hope to share some useful tips about mounting it, uh, what I think are its advantages, but mostly uh, what are the things to look for when deciding which type of rucksack you should bring. Today's video is sponsored by Super Sparrow, a manufacturer of quality thermal flasks or insulated water bottles if you prefer, ideal for cycling and the outdoors. They have sent me a selection including two thermal flasks and a regular water bottle. Beside the good ratings and reviews all over the web, praising their insulation qualities, importantly for us touring on a Brompton, they come in large capacity sizes and look fantastic too. For sure a good addition that will add some extra comfort on my bike tours. Now let's talk about the rucksack. Uh, this clever system of bike packing on a folding bike is not something that I have invented at all. I have seen it used long before I even owned a Brompton. What I find most convenient about a rucksack is the fact that it is easy to carry around on your shoulders uh, when you're transporting the bike to a destination, while versatile as it gives you the chance to combine touring on the bike with the ability to do some hiking, should you want to do so. Let's see some of the features that you should look for when deciding which one you should bring on your bike tour. And this is my ancient 5 years old 45 liters lighting expect, my go-to bag for most of my trips and what has worked best so far. What makes this ideal when touring on a folding bike is the quality of the shoulder straps combined with the fact that it has a frame that helps a lot with stability as it keeps it steady and upright. This model has a kind of thin metal rod that runs through its length. What is most common in other brands is a kind of aluminum frame that if not as nice aesthetically does the same job. Talking about stability, getting the right size is also important. What I think works best is something in the 40 to 50 liters range, depending on how much you need to carry. These larger sizes have the right height that allows the bag to lean on the rack, while having tight shoulder harnesses that can easily reach the under saddle bar. In my latest iteration I use four plastic zip ties tied around the saddle frame, two on each side of this hollow metal bar, which incidentally is where I store some spare spokes for the front and rear wheel. For stability and to keep the bag away from the heels as I pedal, I wrap a bungee cord around a carbon fiber tube and attach the hooks firm and tight on both sides. Finally, to further secure the backpack, I clip the waist strap around the saddle post. I have found that twisting it this way ensures that it won't interfere with my heels as I pedal. As an example of what didn't work as well, before going to Patagonia, I thought I should have a backpack that is waterproof and bought this large dry pack with a roll top closing system. In order to attach this bag, which is slightly smaller, I needed to extend the length of the straps much further and this extra length made it much more prone to swinging sideways as I cycled. Also, not having good quality straps uh, meant that every now and then I had to tighten them as I would get looser while riding. The bag not having a frame compounded the problem and even though it kind of worked, in the end it was definitely not as stable as what I was used to. Another useful feature to look for in a backpack is whether it has some side pockets. Carrying a lot of water in a Brompton that is not fitted with bottle cages can be difficult. A solution I have used when cycling in the desert areas in Utah was to carry two large bottles of water in the two side pockets of the backpack and a third one in the tea bag pocket. This will give me a capacity of 4 to 5 litres. I just wish I had this Super Sparrow with me at the time, as it would have meant being able to drink some fresh water. I hope you found some information useful and if you have any question or suggestion feel free to send me a comment as I do read them and as much as possible I try to answer them all. Super Sparrow have provided me a link that you will find information just below this video that will give a 10% discount on one product or 25% discount if purchasing two or more. Thanks for watching and bye for now.